25 years ago, bad bitch was born. Period. We're ready for St. Thomas, baby. We're ready. What you got? What you got? Um, so yeah, so basically, let's let's talk. So this trip is gonna be like super relaxing. I don't necessarily have too many plans. I'm kind of gonna just gonna wing it. It's about three o'clock right now. So I'm finna go eat. I'm finna go grab something to eat. Come back, regroup, and probably go get a drink or something tonight to bring in my birthday. But ciao. I think after tonight and tomorrow night, I'll go out and then the rest of them just be relaxing because do I really want to be doing too much? Like this is a relaxing 25. This ain't nothing I'm doing extravagant because I got more extravagant trips planned for the end of the year, for Thanksgiving and New Year's. Like those are going to be my trip trips. But this one, like I'm solo, my first solo travel. Um, so yeah, like we're going to keep it cute. But I'm about to go to the grocery store and get something to eat. So let's go. All right, I just went to the grocery store. Well, it's a convenience store. It's like a little gas station situation. Picked up some stuff, so. Got some chips and cookies and snacks and shit. There's a KFC nearby, so I think I want to try that. Like, trying KFC from other places I heard is better than America. I haven't had KFC in America since I was probably like a kid any goddamn way, but I'm going to try the KFC. But it's starting to rain, so I'm confused. Like, what? I ain't come here for no rainy vacation. Like, Oh. back I went to get some food um and I took a shower because I've been sweating and I haven't took a shower in like 13 hours so went to the spot called greenhouse we're gonna see what it's talking about I'm gonna just show y'all so I can eat it so this is what we working with today <gasps> I don't have no ketchup No condiments on this. Well, it's some barbecue sauce. I guess that'll do. But a burger and sweet potato fries is what I'm eating. So we're about to get into it, yeah. So, oh my God. Actually, look, look pretty crazy. So it is 11.30. It's like 30 minutes until my 25th birthday. Um, I'm gonna go to the pool and chill and I'm gonna watch the season finale of Raising Canaan, actually. And you know, look at the cute little view on the pool. So let's go outside. Okay, so I'm at the pool. <laughs> and I got this Swaza tequila. So I'm a brown liquor type of girl, but all the brown liquor was like the huge bottles, and I don't need all that. And I'm not spending my money on that, it's just me. So I just got whatever this shit was. And I forgot my chaser in my room, so let me go grab it. Damn. Let's take one shot first. We're gonna do this. So being 25, to our first solo, solo travel trip and to many more travel trips on this um, vlog channel. So yeah, make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well, because I post other content related to this trip over there so to 25 mm. ciao okay let me get in the pool Okay, we moved to the better end of the water. But let's see, it is 11.50. And I'm gonna be 25 in 10 minutes. This is crazy. This is crazy because I remember just how a couple years ago, 2014, I moved to Atlanta. Um, as a freshman at Clark Atlanta University and I was only 17 years old and it was my first time being on my own. I moved out the house at 17, child, like, 
Ooh, but um, I'm 25. Like, how does that happen so fast? Ciao. Okay, well, I'll pop back on when it's time to do the shots for 25. I'm going to take another shot before. But um, let's see what I'm looking like. I'm not a tequila person. Brown liquor me, please. Follow me on Instagram because I post like other like informational content about this vlog on there. Um, like I have like basically like blog posts but on my Instagram about the hotel, about um, my experience here, like all types of stuff. So if you on this YouTube video, then you'd have missed a whole bunch of posts. And I have a stories highlight dedicated to St. Thomas. So check that out as well. It's shot o'clock, a vicious 25. It's 12 o'clock, September 27th. 25 years ago, bad bitch was born. Period. Okay. My camera's dying. I'll see y'all in the room later. I'm about to watch Raising Canaan on my iPad. And yeah. What's happening? So <laughs> it is September 27th. I am 25 years old today. And um, it's like 7.30 in the morning and I'm about to go get breakfast because it's free breakfast. So I'm taking advantage of free breakfast. Probably going to eat and come back to come here and come back to sleep and chill. Because I'm probably going to have a just relaxing day today. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the beach today or tomorrow. But um, yeah, uh, I don't really have plans for this birthday. I'm just going to chill, relax, and do it like it's my big day. That's it. <laughs> Um, so can I do the pancake breakfast with turkey sausage? And what is the juice of the day? It's an orange passion. Oh, oh, okay. I'll do that. Okay. And um, what's your room number? 44. Okay. Alright, gotcha. Pancakes and turkey sausage and butter and syrup. It's um, nine o'clock. Finished breakfast. It looked trash, but it was good as hell. Like, I'll be back tomorrow. And they had a passion fruit juice, 
10 out of 10. Um, so if you wanted like extra stuff, <clears throat> like eggs or anything else, it was extra $2. I don't know if you have to pay for it there or they put it on your room tab. I didn't care to get anything else because I wanted to taste that first. But tomorrow I'll probably add some stuff to it because it was good. Um, but I'm going to go to sleep for another hour and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. I have three whole days left. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I leave Thursday. So I have three whole days left. Um, going on a tour, y'all. I've been chilling these last couple days. So this is where Muhammad Ali stayed. I thought a uh, uh, park perfect, but uh, let me go down a little further. Where it's, where it's closed up? I'm going to show you. Okay. So yeah, that's where Muhammad Ali stayed when he visited. And um, that's called Hotel 1829. Mm -hmm. It was built in that year. Before it was called Hotel 1829, it was called Taylor House. Taylor House, you know, of course, it changed hands. And so they decided to revert back, not revert, but uh, use the year of construction for the name of the it. The name of it. So that was a hotel or inn or whatever for many, many years. This one, too. This big one right here. Oh. That big one was, when did they close? Well, the Hurricane Irma Maria, you mm -hmm. know, this was um, 2017. Oh, okay. You know, we had two hurricanes back to back, like six days apart. Yeah. Both category five. So this was damaged. That's why they closed up. And the other side of the steps. Oh, okay. And this is Big Tower Street. Uh -huh. That's the store turn. Got a means. Oh, so big tower shit. Okay. In department store because it's big. So oh. store means big. Okay. Cool. This is uh, another view over here. If you stand up there, you can see a canal. That's a man made canal. Stand up here? Yeah, just, yeah, anywhere. But I mean, you see the canal between the hill? Canal. Oh. That's a man made canal. That was exploded by the United States in 1920 to create a secret escape route for submarines. Wow. That's Water Island in the back. The appendage sticking out there, or, or the track sticking out there, that's called Creaky Marine Railway. That's where they would pull the boats up on the land so they could get them clean from barnacles and seaweed. You could see more steps, many steps there. These are step streets, like the 99 steps. Hmm. So you have the 45 step streets around this area. Do you have a Facebook page? Uh, I don't use my Facebook a lot, more my Instagram. Okay. Why? Is that what the... You're just curious. Yeah. Okay. I was asking to post something, but I, I'm not trying to support Mark Zuckerberg so much. Ah, um, I understand. I understand. It's kind of, I wish that we would create some platform like that. I wish that we would create some platform like that. It requires a lot of seed money. There are people know. with the money, you know. It just it has to be thought about. So White people own a lot, so they have more power, yeah. No, there are people with money that could start a platform, but it has to be marketed, just like mm -hmm. established mm -hmm. and, and dedicated to using it. You know, by our people, but okay. I, I think that uh, we can't really be going with Facebook forever and ever and ever, you know. Yeah. Um, so that, that white triangle roof, mm -hmm. you look up, that small white one, that's called Villa Santana. I'm at the beach. And I'm extremely hungover. I went on a tour and uh, I kept throwing up and shit. Like, this is not my day at all. Ooh. 
Okay, I threw up again, <laughs> but I'm feeling better now. Um, so let me t give y'all a little recap of what I've been doing on this vacation. So I've been chilling. Like this was such a relaxing 25th birthday. Like I had nothing planned. I kind of just winged it. Um, the last day is today. It's a Thursday, and I went on a tour. Um, <clears throat> and because I was sick and hung over and kept throwing up, I didn't really have time to record. But I did put a lot of shit in my stories. So go to my Instagram and look up the. Um, my St. Thomas uh, Instagram highlight because I have a lot of like that's where all the good content is not even in this vlog but it's on my Instagram highlight this is the most beautiful water I've ever seen it's the perfect temperature it's the perfect like like it's clear blue it's so beautiful I highly recommend y'all come to St. Thomas for these beaches like uh, but yeah I'm loving it here I'm just loving life clearly I'm having a good time because my black ass was hung over like almost missed my tour i did a private tour with somebody i'll um he's a really great guy he's actually waiting for me because after this i have to go back to my hotel grab my suitcase freshen up and then head to the um airport but he's waiting for me he said i'm gonna just stay here and watch my shows like he's great he's really cool i'll leave his um information and all that good stuff i highly recommend him if you come to st thomas um and yeah so let's get back in this water because it's so beautiful i'm gonna show y'all but Come to St. Thomas. I'm just saying, and come solo. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even want to experience with this with nobody. I don't want nobody fucking it up. Come here by yourself, okay? <laughs> Your upper body. I came prepared, brought me some slippers because you just don't know. <laughs> 